Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, how are you? How you doing? I'm Ryan Job City 2 and today we are going to talk about the Angry Birds 2 movie. The Angry Birds movie 2. It's a weird title that I thought it was just Angry Birds 2, but then I realized no, that's the game, the Angry Birds game. <laughs> We're talking about the Angry Birds movie 2. So I didn't have really have much expectation for this movie. Um, you saw my reactions to the trailer and I was like, huh, okay. Didn't really think we needed a third, second, second movie. <laughs> Didn't think we really needed a second movie and I don't think there's gonna be a third. But this movie is pretty much really good. Um, the birds are back, Red, Chuck, Bomb, uh, the pigs are back, Leonard's back, a big pig Leonard, my man Leonard. The war is still continuing with them throwing pies. The dropping the pigs are dropping crabs on them. It's a lot of back and forward. They're popping balloons and everything. The pigs are really pretty much winning this, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> like, they really have a huge advantage. The, the birds aren't really doing much to return, I, I noticed. I do have one complaint, though. We're not even, like, a minute and a half into this movie and there's already a poster of red hitting a dab no that, that, that shouldn't have happened but in this movie it's not much focused on the rivalry between the pigs and the birds there's a third island eagle island which is producing these giant ice bombs because one of them gets fired at the pigs and he's like that didn't come from Bird Island. Where did that come from? And he's looking out. He's looking out and he sees the island. And he goes, oh, there's a Bird Island. We gotta make a truce with the birds. Obviously, Red is not having any of it. And he's like, no, I don't want no truce. That's another one of their jokes that they're trying to play on us. We ain't having it. But everyone else is like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is good. I like this. I like this. Yeah, yeah, let's do a truce. But then Chuck and Bomb take Red on speed dating. Yeah, that, 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 went, that, that went down well. Everyone knows that speed dating is not dating. It's literally just you sitting on a table with one person and chatting away to them for about a minute and a half. And then ding! Oh, we gotta go. Bye-bye. <laughs> yep, bye-bye. That's what speed dating is. Um, Red's obviously not having any of it. He has a fear of being by himself, like not being liked by everyone. Because there's this ongoing reference where, oh, we get the truce. Oh, Red's no longer a hero. No one likes him anymore. And he's like, oh, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> I don't want to be alone. Because they're trying to get him to talk about his feelings. He's like, nope, don't want to do it. I'm not going to talk about my feelings. So Leonard eventually then shows up. And he's like, hey, look, there's a third island. We have these pictures and everything. Let's cause a truce. Let's put the other stuff behind us. We need to build a team. They get Bomb, they get Chuck, and then they get Chuck's sister, Silver, in this movie. Um, it's a good little team. There's another little pig, I think her name was Candace, I think. There's another little pig, she's got wee headphones on and everything. So she's more of a tech person in this. So you've got this whole team, and then you've got the Mighty Eagle. But as soon as they mention, oh, we're going to Eagle Island, he runs away. He flees. He's like, nope, not doing it. Gone, nope, nope. <laughs> And there's a thing behind that, and as you know, spoilers, sorry. They get over to this island, and this eagle with all their little minions and stuff, which one of the birds, the eagles, one of the eagles, was apparently voiced by David Dobrik. Who knew? Who knew? No one knew. No one knew. No one cared either. <laughs> the only one that I knew and will always recognize is Josh Gatt. He plays Chuck. Which is a really fast bird. He does like things like a millisecond. Whenever they were getting the team together, Red literally rung the bell, and then it goes all slow motion. Chuck wakes up, has a bit of toast, goes and get the milk out of the cow, does all this stuff, and like Reed does his whole thing. And it's like, yeah, you you felt high strong on your thing, so I recorrected it. He's like, oh, thank you. It's, kind of, it's hilarious. I love Chuck. But these these eagles are planning to destroy not only. Pig Island, but um, Bird Island too, because the me and Eagle, I forgot her name, <coughs> I 
I forgot her name. <coughs> but the main eagle on this island is looking to destroy both of these islands. So, because she, her whole island is made of ice. She's got a pole made of ice. Whenever she takes a shower, ice cubes fall out of it. When she makes hot water, ice cubes come out of it too. Everything is made of ice. Her wee dog is completely frozen. There's this little seal that keeps running around, stealing her food. She has like a wee fish and it's like in an ice thing. So she's stabbing away at it with a fork. And then as soon as she gets it out, hey, finally ready to have food. Here comes the seal, yeet. And then just takes it, winks and goes down this little hole. <laughs> So she doesn't like being on this island, that's the thing, she doesn't like being on the island, so she wants to get off the island and destroy these other two islands and make her own little paradise thing. So they make a team, they go over and try and stop this big super weapon that she has, which is firing out big giant ice balls. And it's an overall great movie of just little details of Red wanting to be by himself, or not wanting to be by himself. Um, he ends up kind of getting with... Chuck's sister, Sable, but, uh, S Silver, Silver Sable, sorry, that's why I'm thinking Silver Sable, um, but the whole time, um, Chuck's like, hey, be careful, that's my sister, if you touch her, I will hurt you, <laughs> and it's just this on run going, ongoing gag with Chuck, Red, and his sister, because obviously he doesn't want his sister going with Red, <laughs> so they make this whole plan, and then the plot twist, boom, the chick, uh, from the Eagle Island was in a relationship back in high school. Yeah, they went to high school with Mighty Eagle, and he left her at the at the altar. They were supposed to get engaged. They were engaged, and they were scheduled to be married. But he left her. He didn't go to the wedding or anything. So he was like, "Nope, I'm out. No, I'm not ready for all this. I'm going to be a hero and stuff." So this whole thing is her trying to get revenge on him. For leaving her at the altar. But in the end. They destroy the super weapon. They do all of that. And everyone is a hero. Red, Chuck, Bomb, Leonard. Surprisingly. Um, there's this other little professor guy. With his glasses on. Um, I forgot his name. He's like a doctor, professor type guy. They have all these weird gadgets and stuff. Like there's invisible spray. Which makes you invisible forever. They have this weird looking slime. That Bomb and uh, Chuck try out. But it's just pig snot. They seem to get in the weird situations. Because in the last movie. They were swimming in the water. And they were goggling it. It was all slow motion. And it turned out they were just swimming and drinking. in Mighty Eagle's piss. So they seem to get in the weird situations a lot. And yeah overall. I, I enjoyed this movie. Um... I don't know if there's going to be a third one. There might be. There, there might not. Because in the end, um, Mighty Eagle and the other Eagle get married. And that's it. So that kind of ends the war there. So I don't know if the pigs might go back to a war. But then again, the pigs are heroes now. So they might not go back to fighting each other. But yeah. That's, that's pretty much that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> I was going to do a review to the... Playmobil movie Just not worth my time. It was that bad. I'm not doing it. The movie was a musical. Okay, it was a musical We didn't mention that yesterday me and Scott didn't mention that at all that it was a musical That's how bad it was That we couldn't even mention that it was a musical. I love musicals Not this one No But guys that's gonna do it for this. Um, we're going to be going live for SummerSlam later tonight. So tune into that for our pay-per-view watch party of SummerSlam. And then we have Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, and NXT again doing all that. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to head off now. I have to go uh, run an errand for Scotty's channel. He wants me to uh, get him something. He wants me to trade in something for him. So I have to go ahead and do that. So I'll let the, the uh, end screen run. Angry Birds 2, definitely a good movie. I, I highly recommend going and see it. The cast is fantastic in it. And um, yeah, I, I can't I can't say anything bad about it. If I had to go um, off 1 and 2, I said this to Scott. I said, personally, the first one was better. 
because it was just the pigs versus the birds. So I kind of enjoyed that and they kind of took away from it here because the third island was introduced. And yeah, that, that, that could be it. I also forgot to mention that there was the wee hatchlings, like they were these three little birds that had their own wee side story where they were chasing these unhatched eggs, which were these little kids' sisters. They they were using them to play with them, and then they went out into the water. <clears throat> but then they were like, oh, we got it. Oh, but it's easy. It's too easy. And then they get blasted up into the clouds. So they have to go up to the clouds and get them, but they end up going too high. They go to like the atmosphere, and you're like... How'd you get up there? They drop down. <coughs> they drop down, get the eggs. But then they go to the wrong... No, they, they drop and then they land near a snake. So the snake has the eggs. They take the eggs. They head back to the island and they're like, Oh, we're home. But then they're on Pig's Island. And then they have to help. They go to the Eagle Island to help with the super weapon. And then they go back. But then there's a post credit scene where the eggs hatch and they're free snakes. They took the wrong eggs. So there's a whole little <clears throat> side story with these little hatchlings things. So really weird. <laughs> but I mean overall guys, go see this movie if you haven't already. I've been Ryan Jobs 62. Screw the Playmobil movie. Screw you whoever made that. Screw the kid who was in Child's Play. Screw you. <laughs> Your career's gone downhill since that movie, okay? You, you had to sign on to it. You, you, mm. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you for SummerSlam, the biggest party of the summer.